Melanie Griffith? Like her mom, Tippy Tippy Hendren, was into lived with lions. wild animals, lions. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I think Melanie Griffith got uh, bit or scratched as a child. Oh, as, did she? Yeah, really? in her early teens or something oh, like that. Terrifying. She had to have uh, you know facial reconstructive surgery. No, really? I believe so. Whoa! I never heard that. There's a movie I knew that, that she they lived shot. With them. Like they shot. Yeah. I forget the name of the movie, but they shot like the movie of them interacting with the like, documentary about yeah. them living with big cats. Yeah, when you watch the video online, it doesn't even look real. You're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that real? That's really Melanie Griffin with lions and tigers and shit. Yeah. How many different cats did they have? There was a lot, right? I want to say there was five. So the kind of thing you just ask people: How many cats? How many big cats at the Gr- Tippy Hendren and the Griffiths have? Yeah. Looking at the article right Jamie's now. Jamie's a wizard with that right Google. Away. Pull it up so we can see the photos. It's so preposterous. Look at that. Look, that's crazy. That's crazy. It's crazy. She's But spitting. look how fun that looks. Shouldn't that be the way life is? You imagine if you were burglar and you broke into that fucking house? <laughs> Holy shit, what a mistake. Um, imagine you break into a house and you see a 600-pound African male lion just looking at you with that gigantic head of death. Fuck, man. The bizarre ha- tale of Melanie Griffith and her pet lion. Do they talk about the attack? That's what I was looking for. Um, but look at her spitting water says, into the big cat's mouth. no one in the family was ever injured by the lion. No one? Well, by that lion. By that one. Yeah. Oh. Mm. By Neil. But Neil certainly could have killed any of them at a moment's notice. At one point, he did attack Ron Oxley, his owner, during a dinner party at his home. Fuck all of that. After Neil, the family went on to adopt numerous big cats, which resulted in a series of oh. serious injuries. Oh. Now 57 years old, Melanie has learned from the experience and runs a sanctuary. She um, runs a sanctuary for 32 big cats. Oh my God, look at that thing on the desk. That is so insane. First of all, doesn't that thing need exercise just to keep it shit together? Look at the size of that fucker. How much do you think you got to feed that guy? A Dick? lot, dude, and only meat. They're obligate carnivores. You know, they're not like a dog. You Look at get, how tall he is in the fridge. It's a huge animal, man. Uh, that's the point where I'm like, I'm not working here anymore. It's just laying around their house. Look at the fucking muscles on that thing. And do you think they're like cats? Like, will they only shit where they're supposed to shit? You imagine like, <laughs> they cat, shit like that they shit's where it wants, yeah. The thing about the size of this cat, I mean, this is, it's, that's crazy. it's so big. It's, it must be a thrill to be around something that could just kill you at any moment. And apparently lions in particular are pretty cool with people. Yeah, that's nuts. They're playing. The lion has her by the leg. She's jumping into the pool and it's fake biting her. Fuck all of that. <laughs> Fuck everything about that picture. Put that on a t-shirt with those words. Look at Fuck her right there. This. Look at her. They this were Melanie. friends, dude. They were buddies. Dude. Look how young she looked. She looks. She's well, a kid. She's, she's in her kid. teens at this point. And she has a giant lion in her yard. Um, get, find the th- thing. They're cooler Is with people, a... apparently, than tigers. No, tigers are a little sketchier. Tigers Meaning... are a little sketchier. So it, it, like you'd have an easier time uh, owning a lion than you would a tiger. Yeah, I th- this is I'm talking way out of school, but what I believe is the case is that male lions are mostly there to protect the pride. They're mostly there. To, yeah, they're not the hunters. They're right? The, right, they're the bigger ones. The females do all the hunting. Look at the size of that female! Oh my god! It's What's going on there? In the movie. It's attacking her it's in, in the, the movie. movie. Yeah, that's what it, I mean. That's what the link Watch is. Watch this close call below. So it's biting her? I mean, it's got her mouth around the ribs. Is it actually hurting her? She doesn't look happy. I'm not showing it online. Whoa, this is crazy. All right, this is fucked up. So this was in the movie. They were freaking out that the lion was biting somebody? Yeah, it says the father refused to yell cut. Are oh you my sh- this God. is real? Yeah. Oh, my God. No blood was drawn, and the lion grabbed her hair and pulled her back. So the lion was just fucking with her, but he. This but, it, is, but it's dangerous. She was once clawed to the face during that, the filming that required rec- reconstructive surgery. That's Jesus. the story that I'd heard. She was clawed Jesus. to the face. Fuck, they're so irresponsible. And, you know, there's several lions in this house. You know, it's not just one. So the in, lions are in just, their house. Yeah, the lions are just running shit. And I think they picked them. These they were lions that came from, like, circuses yeah. and shit. They spent $17 million on the movie, and it brought back two. Oh, bargain. On Roar? Yeah. 
Well, after this podcast, get ready for another 50 bucks. <laughs> and that, that's 17, how, how much? 1971. $17 million in 1971? Yeah. This is a nice way to launder cocaine money, son. That's what's going on there. But what is that today? Like $80 million? That's a billion, trillion dollars. <laughs> um, the, what I was saying was I think what happens is that lions, the male lions don't hunt. They usually just eat the kill hmm. that the female lions hunt. They they're doing all the hunting. But with tigers, the male lions hunt. Like they all hunt. And they don't they don't operate in packs. You know, they're not like They're independent, yeah, they're rogue. Yeah, they're not they don't they don't operate the same way lions do. They don't have a pride. You know, I don't think I think tigers are pretty much on their own. You know, I think the females take care of the cubs as long as they can, but I don't think they, they have these Big, I could be wrong. Find out if I'm wrong. I, but I don't think tigers operate in like, like that kind of a group. Um, in a world where, like, I've got a miniature dachshund, that means that somebody genetically made that dog smaller, right? Well, when you say genetically, they're not doing it through a laboratory. They're doing it breeding. through selective breeding, okay. and it's remarkably effective. And they can, can you do that? I just needed that to get to this point. Can you do that with a tiger, yes. a baby tiger? Yes. So you could. could you? That's what happened. All house cats have come from some kind of wild cat that we turned into a domestic cat. And there's a bunch of different varieties of cats, right? The difference between cats and dogs is that all dogs come from wolves. All of them. Every one of them. Every dog. Every dog started as a wolf. Tigers do not live in permanent groups like lions do. For the most part, they live solitary lives except when females are raising cubs. Although rarely seen, the term for a group of tigers is a streak. Ooh, that's Ooh, a dope word. That is. A streak, streak of, tigers, of tigers, a murder of crows. That's yeah, pretty hot. That's dope. Um, My so mom was, used to I call me right. tiger when I was a kid. Now I could tell her, mom, if there was another one, we'd be a streak of tigers. Tigers fuck things up, man. They all fuck things up. All the males hunt. And they're they're a fast fucking animal, man. Oh, is this what is this guy? Movie, it's on YouTube. You he can got find fucked up. No, in this is a movie. movie. This is also Roar. This is Roar. This is the whole movie. It's on YouTube if you like. Oh, I just randomly clicked to a spot where they happen what? to be attacking. And, and the movie <laughs> is about how they have these big. Li what the fuck? <laughs> this seems like a good insane movie. It's called the most dangerous movie ever made. Oh my god, this guy's an idiot. And when you say they said, uh, Jesus, the father didn't yell cut. That was Melanie Griffith's dad was, was directing. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Dude, this is crazy. They're all these lions are fighting for dominance, and this guy is running around in between them while they're filming a shitty movie. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> Look, it's like, fuck you, bitch. Stay out of my business. Oh, Stay my out God. Of my business. He, he, the lion just wanted him to know that that little tree branch was not going to stop him. Jesus Christ, this is so What's with the oh, fucking they're blood? Up because they're cutting each other up, man. They're biting each other and fucking each other up. It's what they do, man. And this was a movie that was meant to show how stupid the guy what made does the it movie say? is. Roar is a 1981 American adventure exploitation film written and directed by Noel Marshall, produced and starring Marshall. And his then wife, Tippi Hendren, co starring H Hendren's real life daughter, Melanie Griffith, and Marshall's real life sons, John and Jerry. Oh, they were a Brady Bunch type family. The film follows a family who are attacked by a range of ravening jungle animals at the secluded home of their keeper. I always thought this was a documentary. They were literally making a movie with fucking real lions <laughs> about how lions were attacking people. Sem 70 members of its cast and crew being injured by the many predatory animals used in the film, including its main stars, sustaining life-threatening injuries ranging from bone fractures to scalpings and gangrene. Much of the footage capturing the injuries was included in the final cut of the film, resulting in real blood on screen. It has been considered the most dangerous film shoot in history. Wow. Okay, wow. we need to do a fight too. companion. <laughs> yeah. They had tigers this. as well? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, they had sure. leopards or jaguars. Were those jaguars or leopards? Do you know the difference? Dude, look at the tiger. They just, I know one they, lives look in a different him. part of the world. but he, ju he just jumped in the boat. Yeah, congratulations. They, they hit him in the fucking face. Well, they have to, I think. You have to panther? get it to think who's boss. Is that a panther? <gasps> yeah, of course it is. Of Fuck all this. What are these people doing? <laughs> You're in a boat this. with a tiger, and then now the boat's sinking, you fuck. <laughs> you fuckity fuck. This is life of pie. Oh, my God. Look at that thing. It's so big. All right, we've got to save it for the companion. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Jesus. So what we'll do is... <laughs> One day we'll do a fight companion. Put that movie on. <laughs> fight companion. Save it. We'll it. Yeah, we'll do a. This uh, week we're doing Roar. 
Yeah, we'll do Roar. Do you think we get in trouble for that? Can we get in trouble for a fight companion for Roar? No, there's people that do things like this. Yeah, no, totally. It's uh, What is it considered? It's commentary. You're, fine. Yeah, You're reviewing it. needs to be seen. That needs to be heard. I'm completely educated. I thought it was a documentary. But they're actually make, they were trying to make a, fic, a narrative, a fiction narrative. I didn't even know there was a documentary. I just knew that she had lived with lions, and I'd seen it in a magazine article or something. Or and that's an not even a real dad. That's her stepdad. Her stepdad was fucking crazy. Could you imagine your stepdad? Don't show me like, anything, Jamie. Don't get in you there do with the this. Lion. Don't you put that evil on me, Jamie? Oh my God! What Roar is it? the movie. Look at all the cats in the room with her. I don't know how many. I can't Dude, count them. fuck all Why? that. <laughs> fuck all that. These and people are crazy. And I'm sure the cats are like confused as fuck by the rolling cameras as well. Yeah. Being like, what is this all about? Yeah, they're horrible. It's. I mean, those are the. That's the cleanup crew for the world. That's what cats are. They're out there taking out as, as many of those fucking zebras or water buffalo or whatever they, they can. And so that's what they want to do all the time. And if you're just feeding them and then you just have them in a yard, they don't even do anything. Like you, you got to exercise the fuck out of those girls to keep them from just that kill lust that's in their body. Like they evolved over millions of years to get to this point where there's they're this enormous hulking supernaturally powerful animal that kills things with its face and you just take that away from them mm. it's no you're gonna be in the pool with us you're gonna be in our movie <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna start off in this boat come on hop in the boat now pretend to fight and they're like what pretend Rah! and this cat is like when the fuck do the antelope show up so i can start jacking fools would you you're, would you agree that since you do more outdoorsy activity than me, i.e. running, i.e. you've gone hunting and stuff like that, your chances of being eaten alive are far greater than mine? Oh, yeah, 100%. I mean, it's like surfers. I'm in a 0% chance in most of my life of getting eaten by a shark. But I have friends who are surfers who surf all the time, and they fucking love it, and they're willing to roll that dice because they like surfing that much. And I'm like, you know, you can't get bit by a shark if you don't go in the ocean. Yeah. And they're like, We've got this it. shark thing figured out and defeated. Just don't go in the ocean. They say it's worth it. I, I got to tell you, man, like I, there's a bunch of bad ways to die, but I always felt like the, the most indignity I would ever feel in death was if I was something else's food yeah. it's one thing if i'm like my body goes into the earth and fucking the worms and the grass and shit like that but to be someone's fucking meal is so it's a temporary a permanent solution to a temporary problem your life for their meal of the moment and they're just gonna shit you out in a couple hours and that's mm -hmm. why i think it's hard for humans to get their head around being eaten by something because like no i'm too special and then they're just going to poop me out. But that would be the indignity, man. It's like, fuck, they ate me to stay alive, I guess. But then it's not like I sustained them forever. Like, I sustained them for a couple fucking hours and they shit me out. Yeah. Well, that, that is how it works, right? Yeah. Um, it's very disturbing seeing images of humans that have been eaten by animals. I've never seen any, and I don't want to. You don't want to. I, I saw this figure a, starting to move toward a keyboard. I'm like, no, no, no. Classic one of a body that they found that bears had eaten. And? Oh, it was horrific. It's just crazy to look at. It's Does just it even crazy. look human anymore? I mean, you know what it is because it was still wearing sneakers and it still had like half of its pants on and it's still like, you know the one? Yeah. You could see the thigh bone. I mean, the, the, the meat from the bone had been completely stripped off and it was just nothing but the thigh bone. And it's just horrific. You got to realize like those things, man, when they, they get a hold of you, the amount of like... The amount of power that a bear could generate, like especially a grizzly bear. Mm. My friend John saw a grizzly bear kill a moose by swatting it, swatted it with its paw and broke its back. A moose. I mean. Second deadliest animal on the planet. Is it is moose. a big. Is it really? Yeah. Right Second after the hippo. Second deadliest? Isn't that crazy? A Nobody moose? thinks about it because when you think about the moose, you're like, oh, hey, Rocky, watch people who have it in Hippo is the most dangerous animal to man on the planet. In terms of like how many people get killed? Mammal. The second is the, the moose. Wow. Part of the deer family. That's crazy.